Hi guys, what we're going to be cooking today is a beautiful Mediterranean dish and I've had it many many times when I was in Europe and it's called the Cod Portuguese very popular in Portugal and it's got a fantastic Mediterranean flavour and I'm just going to put my own little twist on it So guys, what we're going to be using today is some fantastic ingredients we're going to be using some cod getting very expensive these days we use half an onion, red pepper flakes got some beautiful flat leaf parsley, some garlic powder some calamari olives Got some nice capers, got some lemon, got some balsamico, and make sure that you use some good quality diced tomatoes. Make, make sure that they're very, very good. Some olive oil and some salt and pepper. So let's get started. Okay, so what we need to do is cut this cod into two portions, enough for two people. What we need to do now is season the cod. But don't put pepper on it, all I'm going to do is put salt on it. A bit of salt, not too much. Turn it over, salt again. That should be good. All we've got to do now is uh, brown the fish on each side. And a lot of people are very afraid of fish. But all you've got to do is leave it alone. Can you see the pan? It's smoking now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add some olive oil. I don't know, about a tablespoon. Roll it. And then carefully add your fish. Just cook the fish one minute on each side, then take it out. Remember guys, this is just a guideline. If you want to put more olives in there, you can do. If you want to put more tomatoes, capers, you can do. It's just a guideline. It's not a perfect dish. It's very rustic and that's what I love about this dish. It's very rustic. So next what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some garlic powder. And it's up to you how much garlic powder you want. I love garlic. And then what I'm going to do Add some red pepper flakes, just for like a little bit of heat, not too much. And then I'm going to get some ripped up parsley. See, it doesn't have to be perfect. That's what they do in Portugal. Get it in there, rip it up. And give it a stir. Getting these little drop of balsamico, not too much. And some squeezed lemon juice. Give it a stir. Bring that up to the boil and we'll juice it. We'll, we'll reduce it by half. Okay folks, this is reduced by half and what reducing means is it gives a more intense flavor to the actual dish. And now what we're going to do, we're going to do a taste test. And I always put a teaspoon of sugar uh, with tomatoes, because tomatoes love sugar. So we're going to put a teaspoon of sugar, give that a stir, add some salt. I know it needs some salt, not too much. Pepper. Give that a stir. Let's taste it. Mm. 
Oh yeah, that sugar really works well. Tomatoes love sugar, it just gives it a nice, nice balance. Not too sweet, but very, very tasty. Now what we're gonna do is add the fish. Okay, so add the fish very, very carefully. And then we'll put that in the oven. Okay, that goes in a 350, and look at that, that's Mediterranean for you. That goes in a 350 degree oven for 11 to 12 minutes. Okay, after six minutes, just put a little bit of juice on top of the fish. And then we'll put it back in the oven. Beautiful. Okay guys, let's play it up. Be very careful here. Bit of fish. Get this other fish. Look at that, falling off. Try this. Beautiful. Mm -mm -mm. And I'm not just saying this when I cook them and I go, mm -mm -mm. it really is fantastic. It's fresh, it's tomatoey, you can taste the capers, you can taste the olives, the tomato, the lemon, everything. Everything just works. And guys, just really try this and you'd be amazed how fresh the actual dish is. Thanks guys.